my camera came on faster than I thought it was going to be. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl, and my favorite sidekick, Miss Kalulu, is downstairs, and she could just fly through at any given moment in time. I hope everyone's had a really nice Saturday. The weather here wasn't too bad. It was definitely doable, and um, I was a little bit disappointed with um, a couple of the stores today because usually Saturdays, they're pretty full, and they were just like... <clears throat> So I guess they had another truck issue. I'm just like, I'm getting so sick of hearing the truck issue. I think to be very honest with you, it's a lack of employees due to the fact of the COVID, believe it or not, and just other things going on in the world. But anyways, I did come up with some finds and uh, there's a few cool things. And I thought, you know what? Something is better than nothing. And I wanted to say hi to everybody. So I am going to get right on with it. The Dollar Tree haul I showed, I believe it was the last one I showed, so it was either one or two days ago, I had shown you all this birthday party themed items that had um, donuts and little ice cream cones, and I um, found a jointed banner that looks just like this. It's really large, and I love the fact that it has like these bubble letters, and then there's a big ice cream cone in there. So this matches exactly with the napkins, the cups, the plates, and the um, party bags that I showed all of you. Excuse me. So this banner is uh, seven feet. So that's a really good size banner. And like I said, it's, um, let's see what width was. So it's seven feet and it's seven inches. And again, I like the bubble letters. I think that looks really cool. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, I found, and this is also going to be, I just dumped my basket out on the floor. To be honest with you, I didn't organize in any way, shape, or form. I picked up two more of the Minute White Rice. This is ready in five minutes, and it literally is because I use it a lot. And this is also awesome if you want to make, like, rice pudding or something and you don't want to make like a ton of it and in fact there's actually a rice pudding um recipe on the back it just tells you to go to minuterice.com but it's banana rice pudding and i mean there's like a picture of it that looks yummy um but this stuff is really good it's a brand name expiration date on it was uh september 30th of 2022 so for those of you that stock up this is good for quite a while so that's a great staple to have in your house also i picked up some more of the medium size loaf pans because i have been making banana bread i've been making pumpkin bread and it's just easier because of the volume that i do bake um, to bake them in these types of containers and then, you know, distribute them out and then just put these in recyclable. Um, it's less washing for me and less hassle, to be quite honest. So you get three of them for a dollar. That's really, really not a bad buy at all. I picked up a box of this, I don't know, like a month ago. And this is a brand name. It's made by Purina. And you get, it's the Purina Moist and Meaty chopped burger you get two big pouches which is a total of 12 ounces this is what the package itself looks like and um this is when Kahlua wasn't feeling that good and she seems to enjoy it very much so what I've been doing is um taking one of these and mixing it with her regular dog food and she seems to enjoy it and this is an expiration date of August of 2021 so um so that's basically six more packages with inside here for her and it's also convenient for like when I'm not here and I'm depending on grandpa to feed her this actually let me just show you what it looks like for those of you that have not seen it before there's these two bags now not this feeds Kahlua trust me I'm <laughs> like all six of those feeds Kahlua but one of these is easier for grandpa when I'm not around to put that in her bowl than to, you know, get into her bin and go through all that. And that's just easier for him. Uh, let's see. I did find these trays, which I thought were really pretty. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use them yet. 
I know what's going to go on them. And so I'm still thinking with the dipstick. Um, let me give you a measurement. These are in a beautiful burgundy red. They're really, really pretty. They're 14 inches in length. And they are six and a half inches in width. Isn't that, I love that red. And it's like a candy apple red. And the reflection that you're getting is a real true color reflection. It's very vibrant. There it is. It's very, very vibrant. It has a great little detail rim around it. It is black on the back and it does, it does jump up a little bit. And what I mean by that is the piece itself sits up. So when it's actually sitting on the table, it you're going to see some of the underside here. That's what I mean by sitting up. So I did purchase two of them and I thought, you know, gosh, you could do a big pillar candle with two smaller ones and then do some fresh balsam and some pine cones around it. Um, there's so many things that you could do. You could put this on the center uh, as a table piece, just lots of different things you can do. One thing I would recommend is you want to try to grab the ones that have these pieces of plastic if you're going to get more than one. If they're already stacked and apart, just keep your eyes open because a lot of them had scratches on them. Just me, but I went to the ones that had these in between them and they just appeared, you know, much more visually appearing, um, appealing to the eye than the ones that are all scratched up. I mean, unless you like all scratched up, that's that's cool too. Okay, down the arts and craft aisle section, I picked up two, and you get two for a dollar. These are, um, they're almost five inches. They're 4.8 inches in circles. And you get two of them in a package. <coughs> Excuse me. And they are just foam. And uh, a little quick DIY. Take this apart, obviously. You know, like um, a peppermint swirl or a lollipop. <coughs> Excuse me, fur ball. Um, you start with your circle and do it so the swirls go all the way around. Do it on both sides of your foam. Get the sticks from your Dollar Tree. Either you can get yourself either a uh, shish kebab stick or get the other thicker sticks like a taffy apple size stick. Pop it right into here with a little hot glue. Get yourself some of that clear plastic they sell at Dollar Tree to put over baskets and you can shrink wrap it. You don't need the shrink wrap one, but you could use that one as well. Get a piece of it, cut it out, put it over this, and what have you got? You've got yourself a what? A candy cane, a candy pop. If you're interested in seeing what I'm talking about, let me know down below. I hope I didn't confuse anybody with that quick, like, two-minute DIY. <laughs> okay, Oreos. Who doesn't love Oreos? Um, I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. You get four in a package. The Oreo most stuff, um, I've seen like double stuffed and all the other flavors, but most stuffed, it looks like to me like that thing is packing a lot of cream. Um, it guess you get four. It's Oreo brand name. Um, expiration date. Why do I keep saying um, um, expiration date? I do. Oh, here it is. I just can't read it. May of 2022. So there's plenty of time. But what a great thing to pop in someone's stocking for Christmas. Uh, just an idea. Just a thought. They have these really. They had these really. Big size bottles of Tic Tacs. This one says new, and um, it's by it's X Freeze Strong Mint. It says you get. It doesn't say how much you get. Well, it's a one point one seven ounce bottle, so it looks like you get quite a bit in there, and they're like a little bit different in size. So see how you have like some blue ones. Oh wait, no, is that the packaging? That's the packaging. <laughs> keeping it real right okay it's the packaging i was looking at oh my goodness but see these pills there they are right down there those are pretty big compared to like regular tic tacs so that's pretty uh neat anyways great stocking stuffer toss it in your glove box toss it in your purse i don't know toss it wherever at this point i totally screwed that one up and we're leaving it in because hey that's me all right moving on 
Usually I'll buy boxes of toothpicks and it seems like every single time I open a box of toothpicks to go grab a handful, they end up falling all over the floor because the box just like unfolds. I don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe it's just me having brunette moments. I don't know. Anyways, I have one of these on my counter downstairs right now and it works perfect. You can refill it. It's easier for me to just chuck it. You get two bottles and there's 100 toothpicks in each one. I normally put black out because black is basically the color of the kitchen. It's like in um, coffee colors, espresso, black. Um, but then I usually look for the red ones for Christmas time. So I did find the red ones and then I just grabbed the black just, you know, to have because one up in the shop, one in the car, you never know when you're going to need a toothpick. I mean, a toothpick isn't necessarily just for your tooth. There's lots of things you could do with toothpicks, but we won't get into that right now. Let me move on with, I found these three colors and I thought these are going to look cool. I hope they are by Ink Color Flow. They're 0 0.5 five millimeter you get three felt tip pens assorted ink is purple pink and orange let's open this up together so here's the package and do I have a piece of paper to try it on yes I probably do I just want to see if the colors are kind of what they look like because you know a lot of times our packaging looks much better than what it actually is you know, it's kind of like us, you know, we put our makeup on and we look totally different when our makeup's off, right? Okay, let's see. So there's the orange I just did a scribble. Here we go. Here's the orange. I'd say that's pretty true to color. Definitely uh, a needle point for sure, which is the 0 0.5. And now we're going to do some pink. I like that pink. That's nice. That's very, very pretty. And we have the purple. Hopefully this is like a dark enough purple where you can see it. So let's go right up here. Ooh, that's pretty. So there's your colors. Um, this is going in a purse. I really like those. Those are pretty. I also picked up, oh, I was down the toy aisle. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Let's go to this first, because there's, I got a couple of them right in front of me. Who doesn't love SpongeBob SquarePants? And why do we love SpongeBob SquarePants? Because SpongeBob lives under the sea in a pineapple. And SpongeBob is just the coolest. And in fact, a little um, knowledge about me, or I should say my brother that's no longer with us, um, who actually just had a birthday um, a few weeks ago. Anyways, um, my brother Kenny, who, uh, is a Purple Heart vet twice, unfortunately no longer with us. Um, he loved SpongeBob SquarePants. Here's this man, you know, in his late, you know, fifties and sixties, and he's watching SpongeBob SquarePants. So it kind of became like a joke in my family. So every time I saw something with SpongeBob, I would get it for my brother and he was proud to wear it. He was awesome. He really was. So these are made by Nickelodeon. They're plastic figures. They're really nicely done. I have to say that the quality of the paint on here is really, really nice. So we have Stimpy the cat. Now let me give you some measurements. And they all have like a little platform on the bottom so they stand up. I think I got the entire set. This is, it's just a little over two inches. It's like two and a quarter inches. So there is that one. So there's five in the set and that says it on the back of the box or the packaging. Then I have Ren and they're all approximately about the same size. And there's that little stand I was talking about. And then I have Arnold. There's Arnold, because Arnold has his own show. And we have Patrick. My mom liked Patrick. My mom likes SpongeBob too. So we have Patrick. And last but not least, 
The star of the show. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants. Alrighty, moving on. <clears throat> my voice is like, I'm on a new antibiotic. Oh my God, you guys, you see the size of these suckers. They're like horse pills. They're like this big. I'll have to show you one when I get my prescription. Um, I don't have any meds up here. Um, crazy, man. 1,000 milligrams twice a day. Oof, they're jacking me up, man. They're they're doping me up full of medication. Okay, I found some new stickers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And these are crafters stickers. These are all, every single one, I just want to make sure. These are the pop-up stickers. And what pop-up stickers are, if you don't know, it's a sticker. Then there's a little something, something, usually a little piece of foam or another little piece of sticker with the same sticker on top. So it like pops up a little bit. These are adorable. I haven't seen these before, so they were new in my area. The first one is 12 pieces, and it's all these little puppy dogs. Oh my goodness. So for you, all that like Scotties or Pugs or Hot Doggies, and it says dog people are good people too. So let me get the glare off for you. There they are. You have a sheep dog. You got all kinds of little puppies. Then you got food dishes. There's the doghouse. There's the little sign I just read you. The next one is all about travel. 12 pieces in this one as well. This is all about traveling around. So if you do scrapbooking, let me get that glare off. If you do scrapbooking and do a lot of traveling, this would be an awesome set of stickers for somebody who scrapbooks or just puts things on cards like I do and different stuff like that. The next one is pretty much, I'd have to say, I think it's like girly girly, but that's just me. So we have everything that's about, uh, let's take a selfie. So let me bring it in for you and get the glare off. So there you go. The bow, the rainbow, let's take a selfie, a camera, a hashtag. And then you got these little clips down here. I think these are adorable because they're meant to look like little clips. They really did a good job with those. Really cute. Last but not least, and they are so cute. At least to me, they're so cute that I got three of them. <laughs> because I want to use one for friend mail as well. And this one is like, here we go. Look at these mermaids. Oh my gosh, I think they're so adorable. Look at the seahorse. Oh, they're so, so cute. And you know what? Seahorses are so awesome. Have you ever watched seahorses like on the Disney Channel or anything? I mean, really, in my opinion, they're unicorn seahorses because see. They got the little unicorns right there, right there, right there. Anyways, for those of you that love your mermaids, I think these are just adorable. And you get some fishies and a star. So I did grab three of those because I, they were just too cute to pass up. I grabbed, a, I'm like, by the time my family gets these, they're, it's going to be, I'm so behind so, so behind. I picked up some awesome Thanksgiving Day cards. Um, you really can't beat it. And I don't know, for those of you that aren't aware, I think pretty much every Dollar Tree now, all over the United States anyways, used to be American Greetings. Now, all Dollar Trees are Hallmarks. So yes, your cards are actually Hallmark cards. Hey, if you can go to Hallmark, don't get me wrong. I love Hallmark. Hallmark is is a store I've enjoyed um, my own, my whole life. In fact, when I was younger growing up back home in Chicago, there was a Hallmark store within walking distance, and it was called Beth's Hallmark. And I thought I was all that in a bag of chips back home. Anyways, I used to roam around in there all the time. Now I'm going to jump back into the 80s here. So hang with me. For those of you that shop at the Hallmark stores and are there for like Christmas ornaments and stuff like that, back in the 80s, they had, and it might even be farther back than, it might be 70s and 80s. I'm going to have to double check, but who remembers Rodney 
and what was her name? The reindeer? It was Rodney and, if you remember the other reindeer's name, put it down below. I'm not going to say who it was. You could buy them separately or you could purchase them in a set. And the boy's name was Ron. Um, Yeah. Did I just give it away? Wait. What did I say? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, The boy's name is Rodney. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just messing with you guys. All right. So moving on. Um, boop, boop, boop. I wasn't quite sure what this was at first when I saw it. Um, so I, I got to it a little bit closer. So evidently, since we are getting more conscious about, you know, germs and people are kind of doing the fist bumps and the elbow bumps, this one is a high five pen. So rather than having to fist bump or arm bump or whatever you want to bump, um, you kind of go up to someone else and just, you know, whack them in the head. No, what you're supposed to do is if someone else has one, and I only got one because I thought these were a little bit silly, um, is you just high five the pens together. Okay, you know, I got it to show all of you. Anyways, it's a twistable pen. It does write in black ink. They had green, yellow, blue, orange, and pink. If they had purple, I would have grabbed it. But this sucker's big. This is 11 inches. So I'm thinking, to me, it's more of a back scratcher. But hey, that's just me. All right, moving on. I'm going to steal a sip of my cocoa here. I don't know if I've shared this mug with all of you yet. Here's one of my Nomi mugs. It says, you are my one and only. I have my... Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa in there. Went down the candy aisle. That's really not a good place for me to go. But I was a good girl because I did only get two things. And those two things were, one is a repeat. I love Toberlone. Mm -mm -mm. This is a product from Sweden, by the way. Toberlones can be very expensive in the stores. But Dollar Tree usually gets them in around Christmas time. They are 1.76 ounces and they're in the shape of little triangles and they have like a nougat in there, a nougat in there. They're just really super yummy. Another great little thing to toss into a basket or into a stocking. I apologize. I normally don't mess with my hair because I have a heater up here for right now to bring heat. And when it starts to kick on, my hair starts blowing and it starts sticking in my face. Okay. Moving on. I don't know why I felt to explain that. Probably because you're probably seeing me do this all the time. Anyways, Coastal Bay is pretty much Dollar Tree's version of their candy. But I like these, but I usually only get them around Valentine's Day and around Christmas. And I think it's just because it reminds me of Christmas. I don't know. These are the Cherry Sour Balls. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that's the best explanation I can give you because it's the truth. These are good until September of 2023. Man, if anything, what usually ends up happening is what I end up not eating um, usually ends up going on my gingerbread house. So they don't go to waste in any way, shape, or form. All right. I also picked up some more cupcake liners because these are lined and... For me, depending on what kind of tin you're using, depending on what you're putting in the liner itself, sometimes a paper liner can get very greasy and oily on the bottom. And I don't like that because that can tend to make your cupcake too dark on the bottom. Um, and when I say too dark, not necessarily burnt, but definitely browner than the cupcake should be. And then you start to get that taste. So... Basically, what I do is I like the paper that has the foil with it. Then you don't you don't quite get that oiliness to it. Just my opinion. That's what I get with these. These are the cooking concepts. You get 50 in a package. And I did get two packages that were in the gold because I thought that would be perfect for the holiday time. Alrighty. I only found one new candle. And it was like, pfft. but I got it because I just thought the name was so cute and it's called Jammin' Scents 
and it is pumpkin spice. It's three ounces. When I saw it, to me, this reminded me of a little Smucker's jar. I don't know. That was like at first glance, it was like, it's a little Smucker's jar. So it comes to the lid. And oh my gosh, it smells really good. It's, it says pumpkin spice, but for me, for some reason, I'm getting like a lot of peach. Maybe that's just a, another added uh, scent that's in there. Maybe that's just my snoofer. Anyways, there's what it looks like. So super cute. Also a great jar if you're going to reuse to do another candle or something like that. Um, This was kind of cute. It's a little sewing machine. So I've shown you the plastic vacuum. I have shown you, let's see, we had the iron, the plastic little vacuum, and now we have a sewing machine. Is that just adorable or what? It is approximately four inches by three and a half. So, so cute. What you do is it does require two batteries that goes in here. I was going to do it real quick for you, but... I didn't have my little screwdriver set up here, so I couldn't get it open fast enough. But what you would do is you push this button and it kind of just goes up and down here and it goes. Yeah, cool, right? <laughs> it's amazing the toys that they have out for kids now. A lot different than they did back in my day. That is for sure. Okay, um, I saw a couple more of these. I already have this set but I wanted to get a couple more for Toys for Tots. And these are the Disney, they are called uh, Nano Metallic Figs. Am I saying that right? Anyways, it's made by Disney. These are really heavy. So let me bring it in right there. I th isn't that Ursula or am I wrong? I think it says the names back here. Um. No, that's the Queen of Hearts. Oh my God, I'm really screwed up. There we go. There's a better shot for you. There's the characters. They all stand free by themselves because they have a little plate, you know, right down here to put them. But these are all made from metal. So I grabbed a couple more to uh, use for Toys for Tots because I'm hearing that those are quite expensive in the store. I don't know exactly how much, but I had a few people message me and say, do you know how much those go for in the store? And I was like, I have no idea. And they said a lot more than a dollar. So if I can get something that's worth more than a dollar, that's great. If not, that's why I'm at the dollar store because I expect to pay a dollar and get something worth a dollar. Came across some more Barbie and these are Barbie blind bags. These ones are career figures. You get, wow, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 different Barbies. So they have 16 different careers. I got a couple of them. So let's pick one. Pick one. Which one? The one in the middle? Okay. So let's open this up together so you can check it out. I do not know if there's a cheat box. I honestly did not look. And I didn't really check the codes because I'm not that into it because a lot of times these are just gifts. So let's see who we got. All right, so, so far we have this piece. I don't know if there's anything else. There is not, so there goes the bag. The piece is small, and of course I need the bag to tell you what it is. It appears to me like she is an office worker. And the reason why I say that is, let me pop her out of the plastic. These are small. I think these would be perfect if you have miniatures like a dollhouse or things like that. Um, these would be perfect for that. These are an inch and three quarters. So here she is. You can see her little file folder. She's got a little headset on right there holding a book, and then check out her beautiful long blonde hair. Look at that. Adorable, right? So there is that. I also came across, 
I've never seen or heard of this. I have no idea what these guys are. This is Fossil Friends. It says you can collect them all. It doesn't tell me how many there are to collect, but this is what the package looks like. And evidently, these are the different characters that come in there. I just thought, wow, this, I've never seen one like this before. So I grabbed a couple of those. Also, I did find some more JoJo blind bags. And these ones, so the first JoJo blind bags I showed you had um, the little tags on there so you could hang them on like your purse or a backpack or things like this. These ones now are superstar bracelets. So evidently, do you get just one or two? Well, anyways, I found quite a few. So let me just grab, we'll grab this one. Okay, so it says collect them all. They're made by Nickelodeon. There's what the front of the package looks like. There's the back of the package. There is no cheat window, I can tell you that. So if there's no cheat window, then what most likely is going to give it to you is a barcode. And I really don't get into all that because like I said, I give these away um, usually a lot of times. So it doesn't really matter to me. So you do have a little ripping piece right there. So let's see. Oh, you do get two. Let me see if there's anything else in there. There's nothing else in there. So what do we have? This first one says, you be you. Who said that to me the other day? Somebody made a comment and said, I should just be me. And you're right. I should just be me. And then this one has bows on it. And then it says, Jojo, is it Sylvia? I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with Jojo. I mean, I know it's a character, um, uh, but I don't know that much about it. So let's give an idea. Now, mind you, these are for kids. And I ain't no Barbie doll. Uh, this one that says you be you. So let me see. If I can get it on. Well, that didn't sound very good, did it? <laughs> All right, moving on. Yes, it fits my wrist. It, I mean, I have plenty of room. It spins around. It's not loose like it would drop down, but yet... It's not cutting off my circulation. I can spin it just fine. So if I can wear it, I'm sure most all of you can wear it. It is very stretchable. So I wouldn't be too concerned about that. So I am all that. I am hit, man. I am with JoJo. Just call me JoJo. I don't even know what this young lady does. It appears that um, live your dream. She must be someone who's like on Nickelodeon, just like, um, who am I thinking of? Miley Cyrus, my daughter, when she was young, loved Hannah Montana. Is that who it was? Hannah Montana. Oy vey, she's come a long way, hasn't she? All right, came across like a more ponies, my little ponies. I came across four more. I'm gonna open up one with all of you. This is series two. These are made by Hasbro. And let me see if I can get this plastic off here. I have scissors up here, but did I have them next to me? Of course not. This was like a random. All right, let me just push it out this way. Ugh. Okay, so basically, look at that. Magic. Okay, so you're going to get this purple container. And then inside is going to be a plastic bag. This container opens up. And let's see what we get. There should be a book as well. And there it is. Well, there it was. Oh, what's this? Oh, this was just that Series 2 top. So here's your book. All right, why don't we just, you know, okay. So here's the bag, right? Goodness gracious. Woo! What do we have? Oh, they're so cute. All right, so someone's going to have to help me now. So 
the other two that I got had this little like pink heart. This one doesn't have that. How come? I don't know why. Anyways, let me try to show you this the best I can because I really don't know much about these. Oh my goodness. But I know there's somebody out there screaming and telling me who she is. Isn't that adorable? How cute is that? Whoops, it would help if I let you see it. Isn't she pretty? So there's your two pieces and they're not itty bitty bitty pieces. The pony itself is an inch and a half and then the little bed, what I'm calling it, is also an inch and a half. So they're small, but they're not minute little itty bitty pieces. So there you go. So now, you know what? I gotta do another one. You guys want me to do another one? I'll do another one. So let's see, where are they? Another sealed one. They really are adorable. And considering when you go in the shops and see toys like this and they're like $4.99, are you freaking out of your mind? I'm sorry. I mean, I would never pay five bucks for that. No way. A buck is the most I would ever pay for something like this. Okay, let's see what we got. So we're going to have, <laughs> before it all falls out, we're going to have... It tells you that it's series two. That's the piece that fell out before. Here is the inside. It opens up from here. And there is our pieces. And then there's the book that opens. I didn't show you the book from last time. This book opens up and tells you who everyone is. I thought it did anyways. It shows you a picture of all the ones you can get, but unfortunately, I'm not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. I think I just figured something out. So here's what we have, but I think I just figured something out. It looks like when you open that paper, it tells you who it is. Okay, so with that being said, all right, see that little heart? One more time, Beth. Here's that little heart piece I was talking about. That didn't come in the other one unless... Oh, it just went into my hot cocoa. Oh. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have one of these nights. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm just going to just roll with it. All right. So when you open this up, the piece of paper that's in there is folded up like this and tucked in. Because this is the little cabinet that your little critter can sit in. Looks through this heart. Looks like I'm flipping you guys off and I don't mean to. Because if I was, I'd just go like that. No, I'm kidding. Um, you have the container. Here is the background of the container, which you could leave open or you could leave closed. Okay? So your little critter is intended to sit inside of here. This fits right in here. So when you open this, if you go to this book first, it's going to tell you who you got before you open your package. So just a little FYI there, because when I saw this on the back of it, I said, hmm, this one is Sunset Shimmer, and look who I got. So don't spoil it for yourself. I spoiled it for myself because as soon as I saw that, I went, that's what's in there. But hey, that's cool because it's another new one for me. Just fair warning. You know, if you got a little one, let the little one know. Don't, you know, don't take that out yet because then you'll, unless you want to know, but what's the point of the thing being covered up? So it looks to me like she fits right inside a beautiful little cupcake. It looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And then it looks like a little whip of meringue and she fits right on in there. And there she is. These are just so cute. I absolutely love them. So I have four all together open now. So I still have two left over here, which are going to be for a friend mail. And that is that. I made it through. And Kahlua didn't even come storming through either. 
All right, everybody, that is going to do it for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. If you have got something to say, there's the box. Until next time, everyone, um, we do have a gnome winner, and um, I'll just feel I like, know I was going to do a separate video. So what I do is I ask everybody to please, please, all I ask is that you be a subscriber. I don't want to stop doing giveaways because I do it out of the goodness of my heart to say thank you for watching my channel, being supportive of my channel, hanging out with me. Um, there's so many of us to choose from and there's so many YouTubers that I watch too for Dollar Tree hauls and all kinds of other things because we all do it a different way. You know, I may haul the same thing that Kathy or Anna or, or anybody hauls and we just do it in our own way. And that's cool. That's what makes us all unique and individual. But getting back to the giveaways, you know, I do this because it makes me feel good. And the only thing that I ask is that please just be a subscriber to my channel. I've warned everybody that if you're not, and those of you who have responded back and said, well, what if I have my channel hidden? I can still tell if you are on my subscriber list or not. So if you have your screen name hidden, just an FYI, me being the channel owner, I can tell you where you're watching videos from, how long you're watching them. If you subscribe, unsubscribe, resubscribe again. Um, we can see that kind of stuff. So I do check my subscribers and I've warned everybody and I've warned everybody that if I continue to see people doing that, I will no longer be doing giveaways. Now, with that being said, I'm going to continue through the end of this year because we only have like another month to go. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I have to really just say that if I get one more, that's it. I'm cutting it off. It'll strictly be no more giveaways because it's a lot of work for me to have to go through, you know, 9,000 subscribers. And I just want to run this on a trust system. And I always felt like I was leave it up to you to decide whether you were going to be honest or not whomever you are and you know who you are and it really sucks because it messes it up for the people that really are playing along like you should which is just subscribing to the channel that's it so I'm gonna get off my soapbox so we're gonna do uh, at this point now um since I went through two of them what I think I'll do is something tomorrow with the same Nomi and a little something else and we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll go from there. Until next time, everybody, have a wonderful evening. And we will see you all next time. Bye for now.